And those efforts have been seen all across the state. Yesterday's wet weather caused a lot of flooding, and there's the potential for even more later this week. Trees on homes and water covering roads after yet another statewide drenching storm. Cars, we've been moving cars around. So. Why have, why have you been moving the cars around? If, if not, you're going to get flooded. Albert Laboy is in a parking lot along the Blackstone River in Northbridge, where water levels are high, and scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey have been using sensors to make sure the river's gauges are accurate. This is going to tell us how fast the water is going and how much is going through and we call that cubic feet per second. While so many communities are drying out from the torrential snow and rain, this parking lot in Marlboro is drying out from a water main break. Yeah, it was a lot, you know, it was different. More than, than, than rain when it's raining. Officials haven't said if the cause is weather related, but businesses like Pizzarella along this stretch of East Main Street have no water while crews make repairs. It has impacted a little bit with the, for the, the toilet for the customers and uh, we have to do the dishes and we don't have water, water, you know, water supply. And with more rain on the way, some are getting to work. I have been collecting uh, sticks cutting logs because when we lose power, it's really cold in the winter time and we've gone for five, six, seven days without any. Back out here live in Marlboro, you can see crews are working to repair that water main break. A worker did tell me they're going to actually have to rip up the road in order to get to that water main so you can expect delays on East Main Street. We're live in Marlboro. Danae Bucci, WCVB News Center 5.